Hello, everyone. Welcome back. This is Rando Geek. All right, so Verizon's at it again. Once again, attacking T-Mobile and trying to steal all of their customers. All of them. Recently, I did a video talking about how their Verizon is trying to use their visible brand to take all of T-Mobile's Mint customers. Now it looks like they're going beyond Mint. They want the Metro by T-Mobile customers. They want T-Mobile postpaid and prepaid customers, and they certainly want all of the Mint customers. They can't stand that brand right now. They've been calling them out left and right, saying that their $15 three-month promo is not worthy that you're going to regret it, you're not getting truly unlimited data, you're going to be paying more after three months, that it's a hoax. It's false. And to prove that, Verizon is using their biggest brands, the total brand and the visible brand, to try to steal all of T-Mobile's customers. Now, it's real interesting because when, when you compare both visible and the total plan that we're talking about today, against the Mint Mobile plan, I mean, it really makes that plan look bad. It really does. Um, so I don't see how this is not going to work. The only reason it wouldn't work is if the person has better T-Mobile service where they are, uh, then maybe they might want to stay if their Verizon signal isn't very good for them. But if they're in a great market for Verizon, they might be jumping the gun. And uh, just to be clear, like even if you want T-Mobile, you're better off with the Metro brand. If you're not, if you're using Mint, you're better off leaving Mint and going to the Metro brand. Their plans are affordable. They're truly unlimited data. You're capped at, I mean, you're supposed to be cut down after 35 gigabytes of priority on the Metro plans, but we all know that that's a lie. None of us, almost none of us, can complain about Metro's performance after you go over to 35 gigabytes. You're still getting pretty much identical speeds from day, since if you got the first day of the month on your service, like that priority feels like it's always there. All right. So I just want to give recognition to the team, the uh, Metro brand. Remember, I'm not affiliated with any of these companies. I'm just giving you some insights. Like even if you want T-Mobile, you'd be better off with Metro. Uh, sometimes many of us have been able to take advantage of that $25 deal. It's still available. I'll give you a heads up. It is. You have to call. You can get it. Um, doesn't matter what the website says. I don't know if it's still on there. I have to check. I know it was on there. I think they put it as an advertisement now at the bottom, but I haven't checked in a little bit, so I don't know if it's still there. But if it's not, you can contact support and you could certainly get it. All right. So, but anyway, moving on. So, if you want to take advantage of this total wireless deal. This is, the, this is how the process works. You're going to switch over. You'll get $15 a month per line when you bring two plus lines. With this, you get a guaranteed price lock for five years. Taxes and fees are included. When you switch from T-Mobile Mint or Metro by T-Mobile, there's three promo codes that you'll use depending on which carrier you're switching from. Uh, if you're switching from Metro, the promo code is Bye Bye Metro. If you're switching from Mint, it's Bye Bye Mint. And if you're switching from T-Mobile, postpaid or prepaid, it's Bye Bye T-Mobile. Link for this article will be down below. I'm also using another article. So I'm on the uh, Total Wireless website, which I'll link for you. That'll take you directly to how you can get this deal. I'm also using another article as a reference. Now I'm looking at the switch and save big section on the Total site. Uh, it has a breakdown of the Total 5G Unlimited plan stacked against Metro Flex Up and the Mint Mobile Unlimited plan. Now, when you break down a comparison, uh, you're getting far more with the total brand. You're getting truly unlimited data that will never slow down no matter how much you use. You're getting, of course, that reliable Verizon 5G network. You're getting roaming in Canada, Mexico, and 15 plus countries. Now, on the site, it doesn't mention any of this, but the article does. And uh, I mean, probably be wise to contact a customer support at Total just to just to verify if these benefits are included as well. It's not listed there, but I don't know. The article was saying that, that, you know, it is. It's coming from Android police. Usually they're mostly accurate with what they report. But uh, if so, then this just sweetens the pot. 
15 gigabytes of hotspot data with that plan. Okay. $15 a month, 15 gigabytes of hotspot data. All right. You're also getting the unlimited calling and textings to over 85 destinations. All right. And then, like I said, the free roaming in Canada and Mexico. And if that doesn't sound appetizing enough, if you don't already feel like you're almost a postpaid G with all those benefits, they're going to throw $200 at you as a phone credit if you stick around for 12 months. So you have to stick around for 12 months. Um, If you like the total brand, if the service works for you, if you're an OG total wireless customer, then you probably wouldn't mind getting on this deal, setting up a new line and taking advantage of it. Simple as that. Now, if you've never tried Total, you can try it. You know, if you don't like it, you can leave. You just don't get the $200 for a phone credit. Maybe you don't even want a new phone anyway. Either way, you don't really have anything to lose. Verizon's definitely lit a spark under T-Mobile's ass with this. Um, <laughs> I just got to say, like, like, like it is. Um, they have a lot of, you know, they have a lot of brands that they can use to do this. Not that T-Mobile doesn't. But they have their work in it. Um, they've revamped Total. It's, you know, that Total Unlimited Data thing is, is like top notch. And I love the Visible brand. Absolutely both, I think, are bang for dollar. Uh, far more bang for dollar than Verizon Postpaid. Uh, of course, nothing beats that Postpaid experience. But when you break it down price to benefits and whatnot, many of us are comfortable with the the we'll call it MVNO brands, even though it's their companies now. But you know, it really depends on you, the user, right? You're the one that has to be satisfied at the end of the day. So I'll leave it at that. No need to drag this out, but a lot of good benefits here. The international calling, you can earn rewards, no contracts, hotspot enabled. I mean, what more do you want? Right? Fifteen dollars a month. Yeah. And then like I said, that uncertainty with how Mint is going to wind up in a year anyway, you know, you can get on Metro if you want T-Mobile and not have to worry about that. Because most likely, you know, with, with Mint, uh, Metro, once you lock that that monthly price in, that $25 deal, if you get that deal, they're not taking that away. That's, that's locked in for many people. I don't even see it, them taking that away. Anything's possible, but more than likely, no. Anyway... As always, thank you guys for stopping by and watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.